Here's a roller crimped rye cover crop planted to corn four days ago. And this was a field that had lodging, so it was a little difficult to line the roller crimper up with the direction the rye was already falling. But we can see there's a slot where the planter went. And if we look over 30 inches to the next one, we see the slot for the planter. And then we see that some of the rolled rye that wasn't perfectly angled got cut off by the coulter on the planter and is now starting to stand up. We'll see how that develops. really at the wrong angle. Um, it hasn't crimped well at all. In fact, I wonder if this is a little space between the plots. It's just standing up so much. And again, we have mostly a took. So the key question that I have for the roller crimping folks is how do you tell whether you need to go over it again? Um, I believe they rolled this twice. But just looking at the stems, what do you look for to decide that it was good enough? So you see some breaking off at the base. But in this one, I really don't see any obvious crimps. Maybe that's one. So that's staying good and green too. Let's see what it looks like over here, where it really has turned yellow. And here we see some broken off ends. And there is a nice So those are some of the fine point questions that I have about roller crimping rye uh, before planting. Um, how do you tell if you got it right uh, and how do you make sure you get it all?